What is up, YouTube Fitness family? We have an insane video today. We are going to be working on medial delts. So if you have small shoulders and don't have that appearance of that rounded, bolder shoulder look, it's probably because you're not working your medial delts properly. You're probably doing too much pressing. So I'm going to walk you through my five favorite medial delt exercise gonna make your shoulders look absolutely insane. I'm not gonna make you wait for it. Without further ado, let's get into it. First exercise we're gonna do is a crossover isolated cable lateral raise. So we're gonna grab right hand to left handle and conversely left to right. What we're gonna do is set up an incline bench on about a 33 degree. So you wanna be not completely back, but right about here. And you wanna set those up in a low position your cables and these are not meant to be super heavy what we're going to do is we're going to drop the shoulders back really like you're almost like you're going to set up for a bench press really lock those scaps back we're going to raise laterally and the reason i love these is for a couple reasons number one is isolation it really puts your delts on an island and disables you from using number one momentum you see a lot of people doing cheat raises especially with dumbbells where they're not really using their delts or using a lot of momentum or traps. So anytime you're gonna use a lot of momentum with a raising movement, inevitably it's gonna go a lot into your traps and out of your delts because delts aren't a huge muscle group. You don't have to train them quite as heavy as let's say a chest or a back or let's say legs. You really wanna focus more on that mind-muscle connection and it's at much higher risk of injury because it's a smaller muscle group. So you wanna really focus on driving up, squeezing through that medial delt, and then slow on the eccentric. The second reason I love these so much is because the vector is a force. Because if I'm going cross body, I get a lot of tension as I come down in that negative because that vector force is coming not only from down, but also across. So I have tension throughout the rep. It's constant tension as opposed to say, a delt raise of the dumbbell. Towards the bottom of the rep, you're not gonna have as much tension as is you have towards the top as it goes farther away from your center of gravity. 12 to 15, really good squeeze, slow negative, then we'll speed them up towards the end. Ah, and it's in past failure rep. This is a great one to start out with too because it really gets everything firing. It's not super heavy. You don't have to worry about, let's say, a compound press where you really gotta get like super warmed up. This, I find, is a perfect balance of an exercise that you can warm up with, get a really good blood flow. Don't feel that kind of creaky feeling that you get with like super heavy de like delt raises when you're starting with dumbbells. So hit this at 12 to 15, really good eccentric, and then hit some of those like kind of past failure, faster reps. Amazing starting exercise to really build up meal delts. Like I already have a crazy burn just from one set. Second exercise, we're gonna stay right here. Once you get three to four sets of those, I wanna go into a cable Y raise. So same setup, same hand position. What we're gonna do, a slight more elbow bend, and then we're gonna go more of into a Y raise. So we're, instead of, this one is kind of the true lateral. Now I'll show you the difference. We're gonna reach over the top, and then we're gonna raise here. So you're gonna get a, definitely a little rear as well, but it's a ton on that medial delt as well. This is also a great variation for people that have a little bit impingement or pain in that true like really exaggerated hands back lateral position. This is usually a really good movement where you get a ton of medial delt engagement without as much of that super severe angular positioning that's associated with a true lateral raise. So my burn is already freaking crazy on these. So we wanna drive up, hands into like a Y shape and then slow on that down, almost reach it over the top, like reaching it, really stretching out those delts, driving up. Ooh. Same thing, pass failure at the end. Oh. 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 oh, shit. Like, ow, dude, seriously. Uh, burn on these is so stupid. I don't know if I'm like encouraging you guys to do this workout because you're like, damn, those look like they suck. But what I tell people is just because you're not lifting as heavy doesn't mean you can't lift with a lot of intensity. Like right now, after literally four sets, my shoulders feel like they're gonna literally fall off, the pump is so crazy. And that's not because I'm lifting 100 pounds, I'm doing 30 pounds in each hand, but I'm lifting with such control and such specificity. To sum up this, we're going to reach over the top, really wanna to raise into that wide position, slight elbow bend, so we're not completely straight arms here, because that's gonna get almost all rear delt by almost turning the hands over it and into that kind of wide position, then reaching over the top. We're gonna keep a lot of the impetus 
in that medial delt. A lot of times, simple hand positioning adjustment when it comes to angle of the pinky is gonna allow us to keep it in the medial delt, rear delt, front delt, depending on where you angle that pinky because the elbows are inevitably gonna track the pinky. So that's why hand positioning is very important in these exercises as well. So with these, pinky slightly up, elbows slightly bent, and we're gonna raise in that wide position. I can't even do it with the fucking body weight right now. Burn so crazy. Gotta get that freaking pump, bro. Gotta get the pump. Calm the fuck down. I gotta get a pump. All right, that's the second exercise. All right, third exercise. We're on the dumbbells now. Still on the incline bench. We're gonna go closer to a almost upright on these on the bench positioning, but not quite 90 degrees. What we're gonna do is lean back on it, arch that back. And we're gonna do an around the world raise. So we're gonna start, almost turn the dumbbells back, big stretch that medial delt. We're gonna raise up over the top. Hand position is going to go towards the mirror. As I come down, I'm gonna reach back and then slowly rotate down towards the floor. That's where you're gonna really get a ton of medial delt. Raise back up and overhead. Slow on that eccentric. Big arch on the back, rotate as you come down so the hands are like almost that suitcase position then. Rotate up as you raise, hands facing the mirror. The eccentrics when you get most of the work where I reach back and then I rotate the hands down, look it in. That burn is insane. Reach, you get crazy range of motion on these. Obviously up here you have much tension, gives you a little respite. And then as you come down, slight elbow bend, internal rotation with the hands, touch down, drive out. These I'm going like eight to 12, really good tempo. So once you get to eight to 12, you're gonna be freaking fried. You're gonna do a rest pause, pause on the quads, hold it for like 10 seconds, shake it out. Now keeping this incline position, we're gonna hit some true lateral burnouts. So we're gonna be here. So this is technically be exercise three and four. So here we're gonna superset. Ah, true laterals. A little faster, good squeeze though. Oh. Oh. Huh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh shit. Yeah, so the second one, where the impetus is, is you're still putting those delts on an island because you have no use, no way of using momentum. I'm back here and raising here. And you also want to turn those pinkies ever so slightly up towards the ceiling. What that's going to do is keep the impetus in that medial delt and give you that extra little bit of contraction at the top of the wrap. So you saw that the second part, that's a little more explosive, but still within control. And inevitably I can't use a lot of momentum because I'm on that incline bench to start with. Eight to 10 crazy negatives with those around the world raises all the way over the top, big range of motion. Once you get the failure on those, then rest it 10 to 12 seconds, hit those true laterals. Like literally, I'm not kidding right now. Like if I explain this to you and my shoulder is still like sitting at like a seven out of 10 burn, just like sitting here. As you also can understand, we haven't done a single pressing movement yet. And the reason for that is twofold. Number one, presses are mostly gonna be front delt, tricep, and even a little bit of upper chest. And even a little bit of lat, depending on how your what your positioning is. So if you're more here, you can even get a little bit of lat drive. So you're never really going to hit more front delt. A lot of people are very front delt heavy, but they're looking for that kind of really rounded cap shoulder, which you're inevitably not going to get as much from heavy presses. The second reason is that danger factor, right? If I want to progressively over a load presses, I'm pressing a lot overhead. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Also, it's a smaller muscle group, like we mentioned. So the heavier you go on your presses, you're probably going to be taking over with your triceps, upper chest anyway, um, which isn't a bad thing, but if your goal is strength, sure. But if you wanna really focus on hypertrophy, volumizing that muscle group and being really specific, then you're gonna to wanna to do a lot more of these type of movement patterns that are gonna burn like crazy. It's gonna take a lot of mental concerted effort, but pick your goals, right? See if there's strength, hypertrophy, there is a little crossover, but if you really wanna shoot for aesthetics, this is the type of exercise you wanna be working through. Probably one of my favorite shoulder variants. It's kind of modified upright row with the V grip. So on the cables, most times people would argue, oh, upright row is gonna be rear delt, but I'm gonna show you with this hand positioning, turning the thumbs down, pinkies up, it's gonna keep it in that medial delt. And I'll show you how that looks. So we're gonna stretch for it. As we raise, we're gonna lean back, pull up to like kind of the nose level, and then slow on that release. And by having the hands pushing thumbs down, 
it's going to basically help the elbow drive up and keep it more in that medial delt and less in that rear delt. And the fact that I'm leaning back more as opposed to more upright, that would be more like a face pull, which would obviously be more rear delts. But since I'm lying back and turning more of an upright rope, getting a lot of medial delt. This is one of my favorite compounds. You can even go a little heavier on this one. I think it's so much safer to go heavier on this one than a, let's say, heavy press. Big stretch, open up the tissue. Ooh, squeeze, slow on that eccentric. Really digging through that belt, really feeling that mind muscle connection. Ooh. Open, stretch, 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 dig. Ooh. Ooh. About eight to ten negative that fire through some failure reps. Ooh. Three more. Ooh. Honestly, I know a lot of people love shoulders. I hate shoulders, they burn so freaking acute, dude. Feels like somebody's stabbing, literally taking a freaking knife right now and stabbing me in my medial delt. So that's how I know it's working in the muscle groups I'm targeting. So, because I'm turning the hands down and driving the elbows up, keeping a lot of impetus in the medial delt and lying back. The more upright I am and pulling here, it's more of a row. Make it more like a face pull, I'm gonna get inevitably a lot of rear delts. So if I set this up from a high position, and went here, obviously all rear delts, more rear delts, rhomboids even, traps. So with this lying back, it's gonna be a lot more of those delts doing a little bit of traps inevitably, but if you do it less explosively and more of that negative, you're gonna get more delts than traps. Keep those shoulders, the traps disengaged on this movement. So that's my top five guys. If you guys wanna see more of these videos, please comment below, subscribe to the channel. I love all of you. It's been amazing support. Just crossed over, you're probably hopefully well above 100K subs now, but couldn't have done it without you guys. Very thankful. So if you think somebody else could value my, or just get a lot of information from my video, send it to your friends. Truly appreciate you guys. Without further ado, we'll catch you next in the next video.